Win a fortnight's holiday for two. Do you know, I'm tempted to enter. Didn't think you'd be allowed. Oh, you'd be surprised what Vic would get up to. No, I wouldn't. I'm a Windsor. Oh, Kelly! Vic, Vic, I was looking to catch you. I'd like a word about Eric. You're not now, Rev. Kelly, get back here! Don't worry. All we know is a cracking idea. Folks love a big breakfast. Should be raking it in. I hope so. I've spent an absolute fortune on this lot. Uh, get my services for free. You know, I wish now I'd never agreed to this early opening. Once regulars know they can get Earth a la mile on before 9.30, we're making a fortune. You can treat Alice to Disney World. Mm. Where is it? Do you know it's getting beyond a joke, is this? At least last time you left me some of the to wear. Hmm, yeah. What are you talking about? Some idiots pinched the washing off my line again. Now, where crime is concerned, there's usually only two culprits, either the Dingles or Eric Pollard. And Eric's never shown an interest in my underwear before. I'm glad to hear it, Betty. <laughs> oh, uh, any posts for me? Mm hmm just the usual bills. No. what do you know about Betty's undies, Harry? What? Absolutely nothing. I tend to keep it that way as well. Hey, I'm sorry about this, Meg. Some joke. I must have put them on your line. I don't think Kate was too impressed. She thought I'd start taking in washing. <laughs> don't be silly. The only thing you launder is money. Um, right, I'd better be off. If you fancy coming out, uh, there's rugby training tonight for Wolfpack side. Bring little in if you like. Cheers, Terry. Oh, for heaven's sake, look at the state of him. Relax, it'll wash off. Oh, well, you sit down, I'll get you some breakfast. I haven't the time. We'll ring the boss and tell her you're going to be late. I am the boss. And the secretary and the stable lad. You can't resist it, can you? I went begging to Nick Probert yesterday. He wouldn't even see me. I'm trying my best, Kim, but I'm sick and tired of begging for your forgiveness all the time. Then get a job. Husbands did Elizabeth the first have? None. She was a virgin queen. <laughs> Sensible woman. Hey, how much you'll know this one. When was the Battle of the Bulge? Don't know. What do you ask? I've been training for Turner's quiz night. Mm. Hey, Paddy. When was I the... haven't got time, Jack. I'm sorry. Lisa, what's happening with Zoe's car? Well, I'm taking it in Darton. I can't do any more with it. It needs specialist attention. It's knackered. Yeah, well, so will I be if Zoe finds out. No, she can't take it out on you. It wasn't your fault. Don't you believe it. Sorry I'm a bit late, Chris. Biff overslept. Yeah. Well, take it from me. That boy's bad news. He's already taken advantage of it. Oh, do me a favour, will you? Dig out last year's production figures on the quarry. I'll be with you in a moment. Chris thinks you're taking advantage of me. I'm just doing my job. I haven't scared you off, man. I don't scare that easily. I'm glad to hear it. And I need the money. Oh, is that all? I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. Mm, then perhaps I can help you to decide. All that time he's been lying to me about my mum. It was probably just trying to protect you. And I was just the same. Kept things from me because he didn't want me to get hurt. Yeah? But you still wanted to know the truth. Not always. Sometimes I'd rather not have known. Well, this is different. She was my mum. I'd a right to know how she died. Why don't you just talk to him? Mm. See what he has to say. Oh, what's the point when I can't even trust him to tell me the truth? Uh, quick, quick, quick. Uh, can you uh, get us the Arlington file, please? What is the rush? Because I'm late. Thank you. Oh, Paddy. Paddy, my car. Ah. <laughs> what on earth is this? It's a courtesy car from the Dingles. Don't worry, you can still leave mine. Hold on, I thought you said my car would be ready I'm, by now. I'm sorry, I can't stop. Paddy, wait! What's happened to... What's happened to my car? Just take my word for it. Ever since we've been running the quarry, it's caused problems. It's not my favourite place. Well, the same. I'd like to see it. Excuse me. Hello? We're having a meeting. Oh, don't mind me. I need the papers on that new foal. John Carr's due over tomorrow. He wants to have a look at it. 
You've no right to be here. I can't run the stud from the stables. Now, if you have any complaints, consult my partner. I'm sorry, Kim. This is home farm business. It's confidential. Are you asking me to leave? A question for you, Betty. What is the capital of Sierra Leone? I don't know. No more than I know the whereabouts of me wash. You on about? Me washing. What have you done with it? Me note. <laughs> what would I want with it? I'd rather not know the answer to that. Oh, hello, Inga. I can't stop. I've, uh, I've double part the library outside the wool pack, but I wanted to give you this. What is it, look? <gasps> Trixie Valentine's new book. Thanks very much. Who was that? Inga Golightly. She runs a mobile library. But that book's on everything. Not on any subjects you'd be interested in. Ah, uh, come in all that bad bit. Just because she's learned to shovel off smoke, do not mean to say she's changed. Have you heard yourself? You were all ready for jacking jobbing yesterday, weren't you? But you're here today, working for a so-called enemy. Tara ain't like Kim. How do you know, Biff? She's just another rich bird running shop. Looks exactly the same from where I'm standing. Biff, I want you to run me up to the quarry. Does this mean that we're going to talk? Mm. Easy chat wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Come on, Tara, don't mess me around. You know what I mean. We can talk later. Don't worry. Not so I'd like to ravish you over the bonnet. I'm afraid we've got company. Zach, <laughs> not thinking about joining the library, are you? Me, no. Never crossed my mind. Oh, why not? Never know what you might learn. No point. Everything I need to know is up here. <laughs> if you say so. So, uh, they have books on everything, do they? Only uh, my Lisa was asking. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, on most things. In fact. Uh, well, lad. Can I ask you a favour? Sure. Well, if you see our butch, tell him I might be delayed for rugby practice. What practice? Well, you tell him I'll tell you. No, I must have forgotten. Well, it's five o'clock at the pitch if you're coming along. Nah, no, I can't be bothered. Too busy anyway. I take it you'll be coming to our quiz? Uh, I'm not sure. It's too per team and I haven't got a partner. Don't look at me. I'm as thick as two short planks. <laughs> Don't put yourself down. I bet you more than you think. Wrong. I don't know the alphabet. Excuse me. Look, we need to have a word. So kiss the pipe, will you? So, good news is I found a dealer in Otten can do the job for you by the end of the week. And he's got a reconditioned party you can have cheap. Well, thank heavens for that. Bad news is it's still going to cost you nearly four hundred pounds. Well, my money's on Mandy Dingle. What would she want when you're watching? Well, to flog it at the Vickers car boot sale this afternoon. Ah, well, they do say the bug lady looks all the rage at the moment, don't they? Hey, watch it, you. Right, come on. Where are we going? Oh, to Garda's washing line. Uh, there's more washing going, is it? Ah, so better, says you. This is getting beyond a joke. I mean, what do they do with it all? Search me, Alan. Uh, two pints of lager, please, Alan. Uh, <clears throat> hello. My car. Ah. Uh, mm, uh, what's going on? Nothing. Well, why are you looking so guilty? I don't. Yes, you do. You're looking shifty. What's happened to it, Paddy? Nothing. Honest, uh, Lisa's just having a few problems finding the parts. Well, how many parts does it need? Just the one. Oh, well. At least it won't cost too much. Design the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Isn't Bart Clinton Brunel? What on earth 
do you think you're doing? Hey, look, I can explain. I'm not a step closer, otherwise I shall call the police. There's no need for that. You were still in my books. It says London Library on the side. Section 2, Rule 13, Library Service Code of Practice. Members are entitled to take up to eight books and two periodicals. Not the entire stock and the, and the librarian with it. I was going to bring the van back when I'm finished. Finish what? Rifling through the, the large prints for the latest Catherine Cookson? You've got to try harder than that. No, no. I was just after some answers to some questions I've got. For a, a, a course I'm doing. Do you really expect me to believe that? That's true. I know it sounds daft, but I, I just wanted a bit of quiet and to have a look at your books. Well, couldn't you have just joined? Well, I never thought. I oh, don't see that. Look, Miss Golightly, think about it. If I were joyriding, I'd have picked some up with a bit more pull. Yeah, well, I suppose you do have a point. See, the reason I took the library is, well, that I was embarrassed. Me being me, I thought if folk see me in here, they'd think I'd gone soft. I wasn't thieving. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Do you know, really, I should throw the book at you. Thanks, bye. Yeah. You drive an hard bargain for a vicar. Price I'm paying for this stall, I'll be lucky to break even. It's all going to a good cause. You don't stop, do you? You have got more scams on the go than Eric Pollard, and you're making more money than him. Speak of the devil. Hiya. Hey up. Oh, how much are these? Hey, what do you think you're playing at? I'm looking for my washing that went mysteriously AWOL the day before Mandy set up stall. Excuse me. You cheeky mirror, once it's your clothes, the badge, Paul. That's all very fine and large, miss. But if I find so much as one sock of sets amongst this lot, I shall have you up for theft. I was hoping for a word. It's about the village hall. How long did you say you've been storing your antiques there? Over two years. What about it? And this has been agreed with the trustees? I have an agreement with Vic Windsor, yes. Well, that's all. Everyone knows about it. It's all perfectly above board. It's just I've been looking through the books and there's no mention of you paying rent. I said I have an agreement. If you have an agreement, then you should be paying rent. So, that's two years' arrears. By my reckoning, you owe £500. Thanks, Mr Bell. That was most interesting. The place mostly runs itself. What do we employ you for, then? <laughs> As I said, I've no plans for any major changes. Oh, I have. Or in the near future. If you could get those figures for me. Sure. Don't ever do that again. What? Contradict me in front of one of my staff. Just get those figures from him, will you? enough work for one day. Come on, let's go and have a drink. You've smudged your lipstick. Hmm. Tara, we've got to... Don't. What? Spoil things by talking about them. Well, you keep me hanging around all day with barely a word, and now this. I just want to know exactly what you want from me. I want you to buy me a drink, and then I want you to take me to bed. Doing very well. Yes, with a bit of luck, we may be able to put on a half decent fare this year. I was wondering, do you fancy a drink later? Fine. How's it going? Oh, well, cheap tats going like hotcakes. I'm just finding it quite hard to shift Kim's frocks. I don't suppose you want one. The answer's still no. How much is this? Oh, I can let you have that one for 80 quid. Oh, it's rather expensive. It's quality gear. Well, as soon as it's near the end of the day, I'll let you have it for 50. But if you want it, I'd get it now, because these dresses are flying off the rails. Make a lot, do you? Oh, yeah. It's good business, is this? So only take cash. Margaret Royd, Trading Standards Officer. Can I ask where you got your stock? Capital of Sierra Leone. Freetown. Next. Who was tall and tan and lovely? Tall and tan. What did you say your course was in? General studies. For beginners. 
Ooh, they do cover a varied curriculum. History, geography and popular music. It's a girl from Ipanema. Huh? Tall and tan and young and lovely, the girl from Ipanema goes walking. Ah, by eight, you're right. Tell very much. <laughs> right. That's been lot. This has been very decent of you, you know. Well, I'm here to serve all members of the community. No matter what they want the books for. Yeah, I realise that now. I won't make the same mistake again. No, you won't. I'm going to see to that. I thought you were letting me off. No. If you could just fill this in with your name and address. What is it? It's a joining card. I got the dresses off Kim T. It's true. Um, I, I know the circumstances of the sale, if, if you need any proof. And you are? Zoe Tate. Kim was married to my late father. I see. Well, have you at least got any receipts to prove it? No. Only most people don't sell their uh, Arturio Polenta designer dresses at a car boot sale. I told you, I got them from Kim Tate. All of them? Miss Roy. Mrs. I can vouch for Mandy personally. What she's doing is perfectly honest. Well, not if she's making a living from these sales without paying proper taxes. Leave it. I'm afraid you may be contravening regulations on car boot sales by selling items like these. Well, let's say you're sailing very close to the wind, so I don't want to see you here again. Robert Sugden is so immature. Yeah? He went round telling everybody at school that I fancied Matthew Cagill. Oh, nice lad. So do you know what I did? No, what? I gave him a right slapping. Hot and general don't reckon he'll recover. Oh, that right. You're not listening to a word I'm saying. What? Oh, I'm sorry, love, what did you say? It's Kelly, isn't it? What's she done now? Hello, love. Do you want to sit down? Tea's nearly ready. I don't want it. Where are you going? To change. I'm going out. Don't be like this, Kelly. <gasps> Leave me alone! Moody cow. Yeah, that's right. It's just another one of my silly moods. And that right, Dad? Oh, don't you want to talk anymore? Well, don't worry. Suits me fine. Suit yourself. But I thought you might want to know. Viv rang this morning. She's coming home. We don't often have the pleasure of your company. Oh, after a day with Chris Tate, we need a drink. <laughs> it says here, you can win a leisure break at a luxury hotel with the partner of your choice. I'll have to see if Sean Connery's free. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> you haven't won yet. No, but I could do, cos there's a tie-break involved and I've never been sure to words me. Flaming typical. Set myself up in business and the first customer's a trading officer. Yes, well, why don't you just forget it and try flogging your frocks to one of them posh dress agencies? That's not the point. I want it to be a proper business. And you, it will you want it. What are you on about? Betty will. Bringing trading standards? Well, I hope you're happy, Betty, cos now, now they've shut me down. Yeah, well, you must have done something to deserve it. Betty, I think I'll find your washing. It what it gents. Come on. Remember, I want you lean, mean and keen for the big match. Forget about the lean. Don't worry. By the time I'm finished with you, you'll be fighting fit. Oh, we'll be fighting, all right. Uh, yeah, Sim is all biffing here. Why don't we ask Will if he wants a game? Forget it. He's not on the team. Where have you been all day, Dad? Eh? Yeah. Lisa's been looking for you to help out with pigs. I've been struggling with my education. And the promise of a 50 quid note. Hey, any one of you earn, you can give to me. I'll need it for hospital bills when I can't pay for Zoe's car. Well, it won't be you needs hospital treatment if I have my way. Oh, I get it. You think I'm frightened of you. I am. Right. Let's have 40 press-ups and twice round the pitch for a warm-up. <sighs> oh, my poor! <sighs> my foot slipped. Come on, Marlon. Just for starters. Enjoy the game. <laughs> It's not here. We've got the place to ourselves. So, this is home. It's very, um, atmospheric. Yeah, hey, uh, here's Will's takeaway. Look, I know the place is a dump. No, it's not. No, it's, um, cosy. Really. You can have takeaways. I wouldn't dare. I'd be terrified I'd spill chicken tikka over Daddy's Algerian poof. 
Well, you've seen it now, so can we go, eh? Why? Well, what if Will or Marlon come back? You said they'd be gone for hours. Is it that you're ashamed of me? No. Are you ashamed of me? What do you think? Come here. Sorry, old boy, this is all very well and good, but uh, I need Marlon. Are you open in ten minutes? Well, uh, can't I just have him for another five minutes? Uh, he's a vital part of the team. <laughs> if that's the case, I'll cancel the match now, then. <laughs> I could play instead of him, Terry. You? You must be joking. Oh, come on, I'm here now. I may as well. After the stunts you've pulled, you've no chance. <laughs> come on, Terry, you need me. I don't need anybody, sunshine. Especially shirkers with no commitment to the game. Can I go home now, please? You've only just started. What you want? Some more exercise? Yeah, you're right. What are you doing? Exercising my prerogative and going to the pub. What's the matter, Zach? Huh? Legs turned to jelly. Oh, no. That's just your brain. I'm going to have you, you... Oh, no, 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 And when there's boy in one piece, he's got a job to do. Another time. Cheers, Eric. Just saved my life. Uh-uh. <laughs> can't. Come on, what if they come back? Well, let's go somewhere with a little more privacy, then. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Just reminding you you're still on the job. Come on, let's go to bed. What? What's the matter? I, I was only joking. Yeah. Seems like the joke's on me. What am I doing? I would have thought that was pretty obvious. Oh, for goodness sake, you're not getting cold feet on me now. I just... I can't do this, all right? You didn't seem to be having any trouble a minute ago. Tara, you're my boss. It's a bit of fun. That's all. It's no big deal. No, it is to me. I, I just... I can't, all right? Not after what happened to Linda. It's in the past. It's over. You've got to try and forget and move on with your life. How, how can I? When I'm seeing you, how can I? Y your husband killed my wife. It was an accident. No, Alex was driving the car. Yes, he was. I wasn't, so don't blame me. Yeah, but you knew he was guilty. Yet yeah, you still tried to get him off the hook. Is that what this is all about? <laughs> what do you think you're doing, Biff? Having sex with me as some sort of revenge against Alex. Linda chose to go with him. He didn't force her. Get out. My pleasure. Stop kidding yourself, Biff. This has got nothing to do with what Alex did. Send out! This is to do with you. You're feeling guilty because you were enjoying it just as much as me. Mm. 